Welcome back, everyone. Wanted to do a three-month follow-up on this Bauer Dual Action Polisher that we purchased. I'm sure you've seen the videos of me modifying it and changing and every everything to make it run a little smoother. Uh, we've run this in our shop now for about three months, and it's been used several hours a day for well for several days. And um, just gonna share my opinions on how things have shaped up with this. So as you know, we've changed the backing plate to a five inch Rupes backing plate. And then of course we've cleaned out all the Chinese grease out of it and put a high quality lithium grease in the head. Well, what I've noticed is after running this polisher for about mm, an hour or, or longer, not only does it get hot, but it starts to develop a bearing noise and I'm sure it's related to the grease in the bearings that are included but it's not coming from the head there's a separate sound that comes from the head however remember this this tool was not intended for professional use it was the end user the weekend warrior type of type of deal so for this thing to have held up so far three months in the shop it's it's pretty good you know we have we have other polishers that uh, will remain nameless, not Rupes or Flex, but there's some other cheap polishers we've had that, you know, they, they don't even make it a month. So, so far so good considering the price paid of around $100. So you can see that we have this Audi Q8 that we were polishing and I was using, using it as an example. So I get out my FLIR to show you where the hot spots are. And so if you're not holding it by the head, you usually have your hand underneath right there, right that spot right there, that's 113 degrees or about 45 degrees uh, Celsius. So that's the that's the hot area and it's right around where the exhaust is, which is no surprise, but it's not covered in plastic. That is bare metal there. So that's that's warm enough where it's uncomfortable. It probably wouldn't burn you, but it would be pretty uncomfortable. So you can see the heat spots there. It's all around the head. It's where it's warm. And then of course back where the brushes are, 110, 120, 124 degrees, 51 degrees centigrade. That that would probably burn you if you held. Yeah, that's that's pretty warm. The rest of it, it's doable. It it does run warmer than the Rupes or Flex equivalent, but you know it's it's doing an all right job. So really really no complaints. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed for a hundred dollars how well this polisher is done, especially after you you do the backing plate and the grease of course so you hear this noise I'll set up here for a minute it's coming from the back of the motor the electric motor that's in it back by the brushes and I don't think it's the brushes that's making that noise so here's What do you think? The other noise I mentioned, you can hear it in the head there. There's kind of this rattle that's developed and I think that's one of the bearings in the random orbital um, assembly. And I, I'm pretty sure it's going to get worse as time goes on, but we'll see. So I just wanted to, wanted to give you guys a three month update on how that thing's holding up. So if you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, and of course subscribe, patreon.com slash scotthd to help support the channel. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.